Good morning guys, it's Tuesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. We are out at Stone Mountain this morning, and actually it's not morning, it's about two o'clock. And oh, once again, another beautiful day here in Atlanta. So we are out enjoying um, some of nature's wonders in this fresh air. This is my third workout of the day. I got this morning and I did like an hour and something on the elliptical. Then I did some strength training for about 45 minutes, give or take. And now we are at Stone Mountain Park. It's kind of hard to talk to you guys and walk up at the same time, but it's a good workout. Good exercise and it's just so pretty. It is so pretty out here. I hope that you guys aren't just um, watching the Unfrompy Mommy movement. I hope you guys are also actively participating and getting out there, you know, and getting fit in 2016. Because remember, we don't want any Frumpy Mommies in 2016. Someone asked um, in a recent video, how is it that we get anything done if we're always working out? You know, we're, how do you work? How does your husband work? How do you guys homeschool? You know, how do you do all that? But you know what I say? There's a saying going around. It's old. Everybody asks. Or, wait, I think the saying goes something like, you know, everybody has the same 24 hours in a day that Beyonce has and that also applies to stay-at-home moms you know you make time to do the things that you want to do you know my husband knows he has to work so he gets it in he gets up early and he gets his you know he gets his work done we know that Chase can't be walking around here ignorant so he gets his homeschooling in and I know that I don't want to be a frumpy mommy so I get my workouts in as well so you just have to make time and do the things that you know you need to be doing you just have to fit it into the day there's no way around it you know if Beyonce can get on stage and look great sound great just be great we all have those same hours in a day to you know make ourselves great you know too Lord, no. It's not that serious. <laughs> it's not that serious. All right, guys. So, right now, we are coming up on what we affectionately term the death march the death march okay the last few feet this is one of the hardest if not the hardest parts of the climb all right it's that's it right there straight up right just straight up all right so let's see how we do you're doing great chase We're almost there. Y'all gonna take a break? Yeah, I'm gonna take a break. <sighs> All right, I'm not gonna stop because yeah, we'll meet you <sighs> I have a good momentum going, so <sighs> I'm gonna keep going. Oh, guys, made it to the top alone. Eric and Chase are almost up here, but they had to stop and take another break. But we're up here. It is just truly, truly beautiful. Like, this is your reward once you finish your workout. 
I mean, who wouldn't work out if this is what you would get at the end of it? Come on, man. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. It is about a quarter to 11 and um, despite it still being a, a little early here this Sunday morning, I have already had a full day. So among other things, I am just back from the grocery store and I will show you guys what I picked up from the grocery store here in just a second. Um, so what's on the schedule for today, the agenda for today? Of course, a workout. We are still here in the early parts of January. You know, 2016 is, you know, just off and, and running. And I hope you guys are making sure that you get your workouts in. Thank you to everyone who um, said in several of my previous videos that you are here for the Unfrumpy Mommy movement. You're trying to get your lives together in 2016. So good for you, ladies. So, yeah, a workout. I have to donate some things to Goodwill. Um, and I'll show you guys what I'm donating for this month. Today was Kroger and the total for today came to $261.37 and I was able to score a few coupons. So from Fresh Market, my total came to $18.63 and again that was from the Fresh Market. Ladies, if you guys shop at Kroger, then you know that they have, you know, during the holidays, an aisle dedicated to holiday items, ornaments, candies, and also on occasion they'll have things like this. Like this is a, um, a full-size blanket, and this is a really soft, snuggly robe. You guys are not going to believe how much I paid for this full-size blanket. The regular price on this blanket ladies was forty dollars and i paid six dollars and some change for this really soft really nice sized uh blanket this um robe i needed a new robe and was thrilled to see this one in there it was also regular price i believe forty dollars twelve dollars ladies for this really soft full size robe all right, ladies, I didn't want to have the video be too long, so I decided to do a voiceover and kind of speed it up a little bit. Let me know, though, if you guys like the longer videos. I know I do. They come in re really handy when you're cleaning, you know, to just kind of have a little background noise. But we pretty much get the same items week to week. However, this week I did want spaghetti, so I decided to pick up uh, those little Italian style meatballs, that wheat pasta back there, and I'm going to um, add that ground turkey to the spaghetti ladies to keep your tummy nice flat and smooth make sure you are incorporating some fiber into your diet that kiwi watermelon benefiber is great chase being an only child is spoiled that goes without saying so for breakfast i'm trying to get him to be a little bit more independent so i cook up that turkey bacon and then he's able to have those little pancakes and bagels for himself ladies pick up a bag of these sister schubert's dinner yeast rolls you will thank me later and um, even though I am working out, you know, trying to eat as healthy as possible, I do not, absolutely do not deny myself. I have to have that sweet potato pie. And this week, Eric and Chase requested that pecan pie. And of course, you know, they have to have their DiGiorno pizzas for lunch. Ladies, I also picked up these chicken breasts and I plan on using these little grill mates seasoning packets right here to kind of heighten the flavor in them a little bit. But what I found interesting was that the chicken breasts were located right next to the Weight Watchers chicken breasts. Uh, the Weight Watchers chicken breasts had about 30 more calories. They were about $2 more. Um, they did, however, have a little bit more protein. What I want to get you ladies' uh, take on is the fact that Oprah is now the spokesperson for Weight Watchers, and she has also purchased an enormous amount of stock in the into the company. 
Um, at one time, Oprah had moved her personal trainer into the house. Um, she had a personal chef. I'm sure she still probably has one. Not sure if she's still using Art Moore. He actually has a restaurant here in Atlanta. We've, we've had the opportunity to um, visit the restaurant. It's okay. You guys may want to check it out for yourself if you are ever here in town. But my question is, how is it that she's going to now use a program that is just readily available to your average person and uh, get... Uh, results when she wasn't able to do it with, you know, a personal trainer living here with her and um, a chef at her disposal. Um, my question is, is she now just doing it for financial gain or, you know, is this program going to offer her something that those two professionals could not? So what do you guys think? Is it just a gimmick? You know, is it just another one of her, you know, ways to, you know, add more money to her already? Uh, <laughs> large empire look i'm not mad get your hustle on oprah but uh let me know what you guys think let me all my mini ids um and hazelnut is my absolute favorite all right i needed some more tea i am not sleeping well um here at night as of late so i picked up some of this sleepy time herbal tea it's my uh, first time trying this particular uh, brand, so I hope it um, does the trick. And uh, I picked up some more of the Cinnamon Dolce. That's the Starbucks brand. All right. And let me show you guys this tray. Thank you guys so much for all of your tips and advice regarding the coffee station. You guys said, you know what? You like it with it being just a Keurig, so just leave it alone. Um, someone also, a few of you also suggested, you know, that if you would, if you added anything, it would just be maybe just a small plant. So this is what I did. I decided to go ahead and add this little wood tray here to kind of anchor my um, carrot. And I, I did take your suggestions and added the little plant there. And I decided I would just store my little coffee syrups right here alongside of it. Don't worry about these, you know, items that I picked up today. I'm going to put those, you know, into the drawer in just a second but do you like the tray i love the wood look of it uh, i have a lot of natural woods here um, in my home and you know what you know what i'll do i will give you guys a quick tour of my little breakfast area because the wood on the tray really ties into the wood that's over in that area Ladies, if you are standing inside of my family room, looking out towards the kitchen, this is your view. Right before the family room is our little breakfast area, and we love it. We eat many a meal here. We purchased this table and the chairs from Z Gallery. This is the Archer large dining room uh, table and the Archer chairs as well. I love the light um, airy look of the, the, the linen there on the chairs. The studded detail really plays off of the studded um, details that are going on uh, on my bar stools over there in my kitchen. So really love that. The table, it is just the right size for that little space right there. The space right there in our breakfast area isn't really large. So I felt that getting a round table would just be perfect. And I was right. It's just great. I love the wood detail on the chair legs of the chairs. Also, I just love decorating with wood here in the home. Um, I have some clips of other areas in the house where we have decorated with wood. And I just love that round rug it, it just goes uh, really nicely with the size of the table and we purchased that rug from overstock.com so everything is just really light and airy I I'm just a real big believer in no fuss no muss why you know add all those other you know things to the house that are just gonna get dusty and you know just add more work to uh, uh, more work for us to um, you know have to dust and keep clean so again the large archer dining table and chairs from Z gallery love this particular mirror here I actually ordered it from where did I get that lamps plus again the wood really light airy just giving a real um, natural feel to this whole space here this is just right on the wall right behind um, the breakfast table so I just really love it again purchase that from lamps plus 
Here's another area in the house where we've used wood. That's the um, table in our family room right there. Let me um, know if you guys would like to see a, a video uh, of me showing my family room. Again, there are more wood playing off the different metals. You can do it with accessories. You don't have to go out and you know buy a table and chairs. You can incorporate natural woods and things into your home with your um, smaller accessories. This is a, uh, a drum table that I have in the living room. Love it. It works well with the things that we have in there. Again, let me know if you ladies would um, like to see a video um, of my living room. These are just some of the artwork that we have in the living room. Also, uh, wood, real natural fibers. This is a large uh, wood mirror that we have in there also. So just really loving it. Eric is getting ready to take our Goodwill donation for the month of January up to our local Goodwill. And guys, before he did that, I wanted to come in really quickly and show you our donation for the month of January. So first off, we have this suitcase. Um, I love taking donations to Goodwill, but it really pains me to get rid of this suitcase because not only does it go forward, but it goes sideways and front and back. I love it. It's just a really great um, suitcase, a really nice size too, but here you see the handle um, has seen better days and there are a few things inside. So inside, not too many things. One of the first items inside is this, uh, this glass right here, I don't know how it um, came to be just one glass by itself in my cabinet. This is the only one like this particular one that I have. I don't know what happened to the other ones. So I'm gonna donate that one. I hope someone can find some use for it. All right, over here on this side of the suitcase, just a pair of sneakers. Eric wore these a couple of times. Um, he's given them away uh, for reasons unbeknownst to me, but they look pretty good. So hopefully someone can get some use out of those. There's this old phone here. Um, the color of it, I don't know why it's that color. <laughs> I think it started out white, but it has seen better days, but maybe someone can take it and shine it up and maybe just use it for, I don't know, a random accessory or something in their house. All right, also this old pair of sunglasses here. Um, I don't know if these are mine or if they're Eric's. All right, so also in here, a water bottle. We um, have so many of these, so this is one we never used. This was given to Chase by his orthodontist um, as a, I don't know, treasure box prize or something like that for a good visit. I have a blender here. I, I don't know where the top of it is. You know, the actual glass part that you sit and pour your items into. I don't know where it is. So maybe someone just needs a base. So we're going to donate that. Over here, a bunch of different measuring spoons and spatulas. And I think this right here is a knife that I kind of uh, taped up so that it wouldn't cut anybody. So, yeah, that's what's in there. I'm gonna close that bag up so that they don't, you know, get tumbled around in there. Now this right here, these I I was on the fence a, a, a little bit about. I don't know if they actual take boxers and you know different underwear at Goodwill, but these right here, um, they weren't even really worn by Chase. He hates boxers, so I purchased him like three or four pair, and they sat in his drawer. Um, however, when he went to go wear them a few days ago, they're all too small now. So this, ladies, is about three to four pairs of Hanes boxers. And if you ladies, uh, if you have boys, you know that these boxers can be pretty expensive. So I just kind of wrap them up. And um, like I said, they're all clean. So we'll see um, if anyone, you know, will be able to use those in Goodwill. All right. And so let's see, finally over in here is um, a Paula Deen cookbook that I'm going to donate as well. For some reason, Eric never liked the dishes that I made from this cookbook, so I, um, I'm not using it. So we're gonna go ahead and donate that. All right, so that is it for the suitcase. All right, so we're gonna pack that up and take it. Also going for our January um, Goodwill donation is this, jewelry over here 
Um, these are some statement pieces of jewelry that I no longer want. Um, they're, they're still in very good condition. Um, I don't know, you, and ladies, I know I'm not alone when I, alone when I say that, you know, I'm just kind of trying to switch things up a little bit and I want to kind of go with, you know, smaller, finer pieces of jewelry. So I'm going to donate these. Um, I'm actually going to donate the actual uh, jewelry holders here. I'm going to donate all three pieces. This black one here, that larger one. Um, I'm going to donate this smaller one here. All right. And um, this little one right here also. You can put your bracelets on that one. So all three of the stands or jewelry organizers or holders, whatever you call it, all three of those are going to go, including the jewelry. And so maybe some, you know, and who's to, you know, who's to say that I won't um, kind of revisit, you know, statement jewelry, but, you know, just for right now, I just, you know, like I said, want to go with, you know, finer pieces of jewelry, smaller pieces. All right. So I'm going to package those up in this plastic bag right here so that nothing gets lost. And then finally is this body pillow. It is so soft and so warm and I think too warm um, because every time I have it on the bed, Eric just swears he's just too hot and the pillow is making him sweat. So we're going to donate this pillow as well. The, the cover comes off so whoever purchases this, you know, can actually wash it and then place the, um, the big body pillow back inside the cover.